Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be using Kali Linux, specifically BetterCap, to perform an ARP spoof on our victim machine running Windows 10 with a wired connection. And I'm going to try two uh, well-known methods. Um, the first one is going to be using BetterCap and the second Wireshark. And this all depends on the setup of uh, the attacker and the victim. So with the first one, the victim is connected via Ethernet, okay? Uh, and it's a Windows 10 machine. I've RDP'd into it. And you can see here that I've done uh, ipconfig slash all. Default gateway 192.168.0.1 and the IP address 192.168.0.1. 134 okay so that's basically that so what we're going to do essentially what an app poisoning or spoofing is is to uh, clone your IP address so mine's 130 into the default gateway essentially making yourself the man in the middle so what we're going to do to get started is we're going to open up a terminal control alt T this is a uh, Linux, uh, Kali Linux running on a live session USB. And, um, okay, so sudo uh, dash i. If better cap doesn't come up for you, just go into sudo or do sudo apt dash get install better cap. So I'm going to select iface when one. So wlan one. First thing you want to do, just go into help, suss it out, see what's there. Okay, these are all the uh, commands. What we are interested in is ARP spoof. So to get some more details, just go into ARP, help the ARP spoof. And you can see more commands come up here. Let me just make this a tad bit bigger. Control plus minus to, to okay so we'll specify the targets here and make it easier for yourself you've got the the option to do so set the targets and 134 this is the IP address of the uh, victim machine which is the laptop one running Windows 10 okay so what I usually like to do is net dot probe to list the devices on the network you can see the endpoints coming up here it's detected various devices if you want to show them just net show net dot show puts it in a nice uh, that's not really that nice but if you zoom out try it again there you go that's better and I'll use the Windows key I like this feature it's um, Windows key and zoom in with uh, within Linux so you can actually zoom into the session which is great yeah uh, okay, so you can see here uh, the name of the machine that we are attacking today is called user-pc Quanta computer, so that's the vendor of the uh, machine. MAC address ends with a 4C, this is the IP address. Okay, great. So what we want to do now, net.sniff on. DNS uh, events, that's completely normal. You can turn them off if you like. And they're classified as event streams. You don't have to worry about it. I'm just going to keep them on for, for this example. Now we're going to turn on the uh, spoofing mechanism. So that's on right now. Whatever this uh, happens on, for example, this browser. So if I go to news.com. Yep. All right, let's go back into the... Okay, there you go. You can see the uh, net.sniff uh, showing some uh, content. So data is flowing and that's very important, especially if you're, you're uh, up spoofing your victim. Some, in some instances, if this is not done properly, then the connection to the victim will be lost. That's very important because it's going to be very... Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's a giveaway and they're going to get suspicious. Let's go to yahoo.com. All right, Australian news, there you go. Uh, the COVID, 
extreme concern, the lockdown tensions in Melbourne. So I'm from Sydney, lockdown tensions in Melbourne are going, everything is going kaput uh, this year. All right, so there you go. So there's some content. Now, one thing is, you'll notice that this is, let's zoom in, HTTPS, which means it's TLS encrypted, so we can't necessarily read it, okay? So what you want to do just, and this is only for example, this is an example uh, of how to use ARP spoof when your victim is connected through an Ethernet connection using BetterCap. Okay, we're just going to limit it to that. And to, com to make this example as complete as possible and keep it practical, I'm going to give you a method uh, on how this uh, technique can uh, you know, uh, weld data for you, or yield data for you, should I say. <laughs> So if you go into here, let's go into a test site. This is a test PHP a login, and this site is uh, specifically made to be um, hacked or, or tested in this certain scenario. And you'll notice from the, at the very top, can you see that padlock there? That means that the connection is not secure, which means it's running HTTP and not TTPS and not TLS. So let's just say you, you were uh, or you wanted to log into a particular site of this nature. Let's just say we'll put in BetterCap for this uh, example. Username, BetterCap for the password, login. All right. Okay, let's go back into BetterCap. And he's, here you can see the details have been fetched. BetterCap and BetterCap, VolnWeb, there you go. So that's one example of how uh, this can obviously uh, catch your data and uh, sniff your network if you're using uh, unsecure HTTP connection. Okay. There are other ways to, uh, you know, decrypt uh, TLS and as well um, have a look at that data. As a disclaimer as well. This uh, video is only for educational purposes and just to give you an understanding of how the network uh, functions using the ARP table and what can possibly uh, go wrong. And also to give you an idea of how to have some preventative measures. Now one being that you can also set up alerts in Wireshark to detect the packet read transmission. Make sure your network is secure. So make sure you've got a secure a Wi-Fi password so no one can uh, you know get in and perform that man in the middle attack and that's basically uh, it for this video look out for more I've got some more networking cybersecurity stuff in the pipeline so if you like this video subscribe and hit that bell button and I'll see you next time